हर चीज उनको ना पिंच करती है क्या मैं इतने रहना ही नहीं है <laughs> मैंने चले जा रहा है ओके गाइस लेट्स गो ऑन वाओ सेकंड पैसेज नाउ गेट रेडी फॉर इट सेकंड पैसेज बैक टू द फ्यूचर ऑफ स्काई स्क्रैपर डिजाइन सो दे आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट स्काई स्क्रैपर डिजाइन स्काई स्क्रैपर मीन्स tall building a skyscraper very tall building like we've got arfa kareem tower a 200 story building in lahore okay so anyways anyways skyscraper means a tall building there are many tall buildings in lahore you might have seen so back to the future of skyscraper design back to the future of skyscraper design they're going to talk about the design of skyscraper and back to the future they are going to go back how they were and what is going to happen in the future answers to the problem of excessive electricity used by skyscrapers and large public buildings can be found in ingenious but forgotten architectural designs of the 19th and early 20th century so they are going to tell us about past which century is this now now 21st century is going on so they are going to talk about 19th and 20th it means they will tell us about the history of skyscrapers and mainly electricity use and some other stuff like that okay after that we'll come to the questions hmm 11 to 16 reading passage 2 has nine sections how many nine. don't say it like this say nine Okay whenever passage is labeled a b c d trouble is waiting for you and that trouble is what we call type b questions where questions and answers are never in order for one question you have to scan all the passage for second question you have to scan all the passage okay so always try to do type b questions at the end of the very passage right not in the beginning otherwise your brain will be drained okay questions 14 to 16 which paragraph contains the following information one thing you guys can do if you want to but questions are so tricky that they slip out of your mind you can just read questions 14 to 18 and underline the words for example question number 14 uh, 19th century Question number fifteen: Tall building and prestige. Tall building and prestige. prestige. See that uh, Eiffel Tower is the tallest, uh, very tall. So it shows the prestige of French people and all that. Sixteen: uh, Comparison between circulation. So comparison and nineteenth century circulation. Question number seventeen: Short tested. Short is the name. Tested circulation and nineteenth century. And question number eighteen: uh, Advertising. just underline the word advertising increase of use of air conditioning advertising air conditioning and all that so when you find because you know by chance you will find these answers when you are doing other question type by chance you will come across so if you read the questions first or at least you visualize these words so it will click you when the answer is going to come now we come to questions 19 to 26 wow this test is good you know why good 19 to 26 means seven questions complete the summary below and the good news is type a questions and answers are in the same order in the passage okay so let's see choose one word only now we are going to start from questions 19 to 26 okay choose one word only from the passage for each answer ventilation in 19th century hospital wards and then they use the word professor allen short let's go back we look for P professor allen short and ventilation in 19th century hospitals professor allen short ventilation in 19th century hospitals paragraph okay uh exactly it's paragraph d that talks about ventilation in 19th century hospitals got it If you read the first line you'll be clear about it. Yes, right? So, let's go on to the question. Now please come back to questions. We read question number 19. Professor Allen Short examined the work of John Shaw Billings who influenced. Now these are the names. 
वर्क ऑफ जॉन शॉ बिलिंग्स हु इन्फ्लुएंस्ड द आर्किटेक्चरल डैश ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स टू इंश्योर दे हैड गुड वेंटिलेशन आर्किटेक्चरल डैश ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स आर्किटेक्चरल डैश ऑफ हॉस्पिटल्स एंड इफ यू नो ये लेट्स गो बैक वी आर गोइंग टू रीड इट फ्रॉम देयर नाइनटीन सेंचुरी अर्लियर आई एम रीडिंग इट फ्रॉम पैराग्राफ डी Short's book highlights a developing and sophisticated art of science of ventilating building through the 19th and earlier 20th centuries including the design of ingeniously ventilated hospitals of particular interest were those built to the designs of John Shaw Billings right and if you come to the next paragraph we spent 3 years digitally modeling billings final designs now let's come back Professor Ellen Short examined the work of John Shaw Billings who influenced the architectural dash of hospital architectural design, design of hospitals to uh, ensure they had good ventilation now what's the word yeah ventilation is there for that they use the word ventilating okay all good paragraph d and one more thing we call it uh, uh natural english uh, the words that come to collocations collocations now one thing i tell you if you go through collocations collocations are group of words that come together okay so if you know collocations you know it already architectural design okay in collocations with architectural we usually use the word design anyways correct answer is design now please focus question number 20 he calculated that focus the word calculated and they might use any other word he calculated that dash in the air coming from patients suffering from suffering from means the name of disease, disease. so he calculated something which came from the patients who were suffering from a disease now let's go back please come to this uh, paragraph d second part paragraph d second part we spent 3 years digitally modeling billing final design says short we put pathog uh, pathogens in the air stream modeled for someone with tuberculosis coughing in the wards and we found the ventilation system in the room would have kept other patients safe from harm now what did they do we put pathogens in the air stream modeled for someone with tuber closest now come back to the question he calculated that pathogens in the air and these pathogens came from patients suffering from and how were the pathogens coming from through their cough because tb patients they cough a lot so when they were coughing in the air there were pathogens so he calculated that pathogens in the air coming from patients suffering from and by the way can you see over there for tuberculosis they have written tb so you can write full word tuberculosis or you can write tb both answers will be fine correct yeah khamoshi chani shuru ho gayi hai i told you let's go on question number 22 he also found that the air dash uh, the air in dash in hospitals now look air in dash in hospitals means is the part of hospital answer is going to be part of hospital could change as often as in a modern operating theater so let's go back please go on to paragraph e we discovered that 19th century paragraph e yes paragraph e Uh, for he also found that what is the word for he also found that yeah he says we discovered that now when he is talking he is saying we discovered when they are making a question they say he found it out so he discovered that 19th century hospital wards could generate up to 24 air changes hospital wards means in dash in hospital in dash in hospital means in wards in hospital now have you noticed their technique hospital wards in dash in hospital so it means in wards in the hospital 
So answer is wards. Okay, now we go on. Question number 23. He suggests that energy use could be reduced by locating more patients in dash areas. Now, more patients in dash areas means type of areas. If they put more patients there, he suggests that energy use could be reduced by locating more patients in dash areas. Same uh, paragraph E, second part. Or section E, second paragraph. Single rooms are not appropriate for all patients. Communal wards appropriate for certain patients, older people with dementia, for example, would work just as well in today's hospital. So, communal wards. Now, tell me one thing. What is the word for wards? Areas. Well done. Areas is for wards and communal is the right answer. Okay, every time you do reading, do it like this, match it, read it again, go back again to the question and passage and all that. Now you see, we have a separate paragraph. So if there are two separate paragraphs, then you need to go to two different locations of the passage. Sometimes there are three paragraphs, sometimes only one paragraph. Sometimes each question is a different paragraph. It's like that as well. Okay, question number 24. A major reason for improving ventilation in 19th century hospitals was the demand from the dash for protection against bad air. Now, demand from means type of people, type of, yeah, demand from. So, major reason for improving ventilation in 19th century hospital was the demand from the dash for protection against bad air known as name of bad air that is question number 25 so please come to paragraph f good let's read paragraph f together see that answers are going on systematically much of the ingenuity present in 19th century hospital and building design was driven by a panicked public driven by means demand from now it's one word only so can you write panicked public no, you will write only public. public, exactly. So answer is public for protection against bad air. And what is the name of that bad air? Let's read on. A clambering for buildings that could protect against what was thought to be the lethal threat of miasmus toxic air. Now listen, miasmus and then they have mentioned toxic air. So this hyphen means they have described the word. Right? They use the word miasmus and hyphen toxic air. So uh, answer is going to be? And what is the word for toxic? Bad. Bad. Absolutely. Unless you concentrate this much, IELTS reading will become difficult for you. So answer is? Miasmus. And it's a bad air. Okay, last question. These were blamed for the spread of disease. <coughs> For hundreds of years, including epidemics of dash in London. Answer is one epidemic in London. Go on. Read the same paragraph. Dash outbreak in London. Outbreak means epidemic. Absolutely. Paragraph F. Third last line. And you can see right through the cholera outbreak in London. So what is the word for outbreak? epidemic now you know what will some people do they will reach there and they will write answer as uh, uh, outbreak and then they'll be very confident i found the answer okay they don't know and this is what they do deliberately they want to see whether you know that epidemic and outbreak they are similar words so answer is cholera, cholera. all right that's good